Tell me how I breathe without a way. How we gonna be forever, girl, if you ain't there? Tell me how I'm supposed to be without you. There is not a reason good enough to live without you. Tell me how I breathe without a way. How we gonna be forever, girl, if you ain't there? Tell me how I'm supposed to be without you. There is not a reason good enough to live without you. Hey, you guys, welcome to our first official YouTube video. So with that being said, welcome to our YouTube channel. So what we are gonna do for y'all, we gonna put the name of our channel right here at the bottom of the screen so they can do what, babe? Like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, all of that good stuff. Everything is gonna be happily ever denning. <laughs> to add something else that we forgot, you gotta remember, man, it's our first video, but um, so we're going to be doing 14 different videos for the next 14 days for 14 days of Valentine's Day. Um, I know a couple people that follow us are familiar with um, the great job Kristen did last year with 14 days of Valentine's Day. But instead okay, of wait. us doing things for each other, we're going to do something for y'all and put out 14 videos in a row every day. Different subjects, different content, you know. And we are calling it the 14 days of Vlogging times. And I didn't know that till right now. <laughs> so, y'all find stuff out when I vlog. The 14 days of vlogging time. So, welcome to day one. Numero uno. Okay. So, I know the big question is, why do we want to start a YouTube channel? What made us want to get on YouTube? And what um, more importantly, what took us so long? Because <laughs> we know y'all be watching. So, I'm going to let you tell them, babe. What, why, why do we want to be on YouTube? We want to be on YouTube because we want to make some money, duh. No. Because <laughs> we need to pay for our wedding? No, the real answer. <laughs> We're going to try this for the third time, the real answer. Um, we want to make a YouTube channel to, um, what's the word? I don't know. I to like put out their real relationship, or what a real relationship is. Like, this is real, real stuff. Real problems, real success, real everything. Like, this is not fake. This is as real as it's going to get. Especially in the fake world of social media. So, we just kind of want to highlight what it's like really being engaged. So, I know y'all heard that. We're engaged on the ring, baby. Okay. So, we just want to show, like, what it's really like. You know, not what it's made of. You dramatic. <laughs> So we gonna highlight. Um, we definitely gonna highlight business. We are gonna highlight travel. We are gonna highlight love. We are gonna highlight life. We are gonna highlight a lot of different things. Right. Go follow. Do all that good stuff you need to do because we plan on making this a um, a consistent thing. We plan on being very successful with it. So, baby, you want to jump right into the video? Yeah, but move your arm because you're blocking me. Well, you need to slide over. <laughs> Black me. Yeah, we gonna um. We're going to jump right into it. So, let's introduce ourselves a little bit. Who we are as a couple. I put up a poll on Instagram not too long ago asking asking you guys to ask us questions. And we promised we would answer every single question. And we got quite a few. So... And all my followers are ridiculous because only one person asked me. Did your followers mind, ask you a lot of questions? Only one. But keep in well, mind... Who they ask you? Hold on, I ain't put it up yet. But keep in mind, I don't know any of these questions from her page. She doesn't know the questions from my page. So y'all are going to get raw, real answers. Matter of fact, cover that up. I don't want to know. So, you know, you're going to get raw, real answers. And, and yeah, uh, let's go ahead and kick it off. All right. So you say, you since you got one question, you go first. What was the well, question? I got to get home. My phone over there, and I ain't about to get up. So let me just go into my Instagram. And see, this is another thing. That's why I say this real. You see how my Instagram is logged in her phone? That's what you could do when you when you. Mine not logged into his though. Yeah, cause you know not to plug me anyway. Um, I'm just kidding, y'all. I don't got nothing to hide. But all right, so are we gonna say who asked us? Or are we just do yes. we just ask the question? No, say who asked. All right, to show some appreciation to y'all, since y'all believe in us, <laughs> we're gonna say who. Asked. You want me to read the first one? But some of these people I really don't even know, so... That's fine. Alright, um... And I feel like some of these is, um, spam. 
Like this one question I got was, which would you rather do? Wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house? Which one would you rather do? Who was that? Let me see. Let me see who said this. Bite so, my fashion. This is at bite my fashion. So at bite my fashion. Um, I'm gonna let Kristen go first, and I'll go at that. I would rather vacuum the house. So wash dishes, mow the lawn, clean the bathroom, or vacuum the house. Girl, we ain't got no vacuum. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we have hardwood floors. We don't have carpet. So um, I'd rather vacuum the house because I hate cleaning the bathroom. She don't clean the bathroom. Let's be honest. He cleans the bathroom. Uh, mow the lawn. We don't have a lawn yet, but he's going to do that regardless. Right? Nope. We had <laughs> kids. I'm going to be my minions. I'm going to make them do everything. <laughs> and wash dishes. We have a dishwasher. Millennial. That she didn't Millen use this is up real. until she met me. She did not use the dish. Then Lon said use. Lon said use dishwasher before me. I didn't. Because in a Caribbean household, you stand up at the sink. And wash the dishes. In the black household, you said it was sick, wash the dishes. But at the same time, why am I going to be washing dishes if I got a dishwasher? It makes no sense. Uh, anyways, I use a dishwasher now because. All right. So for me, um, I'd rather mow the lawn. I didn't appreciate mowing the lawn when I was younger, but I think now that I'm a little older, I think I would appreciate it more. Because I'm ready to have a yard. I tell you all the time, I want a garage, I want a yard, I want to, you know, be outside. Um. The second thing, I think I would probably vacuum second because it's kind of easy. I don't really care. Um, washing dishes last. I'm a chef. That's what I do for a living. So washing dishes is like the bottom of the totem pole in the kitchen. So uh, I can So you clean the bathroom before you wash the dishes? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the bathroom. Yeah, I would do any of the things that washing dishes is last. I hate washing dishes. Uh, okay. Yeah. So appreciate your question. Blame my fashion. All right, no, let's... bite. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> this came from at Sierra. I don't know how to spell your last name, but you know who you are, Sierra, because you asked me this question. And Limery. It's a Limery. It's an I L. A Limery. A Lenry. Yeah, no I don't know if you say you. That's how you say your name, but at Sierra, a Lenry. A Lenry. Let me read this one. Alright, so it says, what y'all serving at the reception? Jamaican or Puerto Rican cuisine? First of all, <laughs> I'm not Jamaican and I'm not Puerto Rican. Why you ain't include me? Why I gotta be everything she want? Um, but surprisingly, we're doing neither. Um, I did this, we didn't even really think about it. It's just not on the catering menus that we receive. And we will get into that a little bit later down the line in our 14 days of vlogging. Um, give y'all a little inside scoop on how our wedding planning been going. But yeah, neither. I'm kind of sad about it. Okay. So then <laughs> we're going to slide on to the next one. Um, I got... Um, Next question is from Sierra again. She says, what are you using to film and edit your videos? Um, she don't know. I do everything with the camera. No, to film. Oh, to film, we're using a See? Sony. What is it? A Sony. It's a Sony A6. Um, we got a factory lens on it. And then for most of our video editing, we use uh, iMovie. iMovie. We have, what's the other one we got too? Final, we have Final Cut Pro X, but that shit is hard to use. Yeah, it's kind of hard, especially for beginners. I plan on learning it because um, I think I'm going to be doing most of the editing until this guy learns. Yeah, I, ain't, I can set everything <laughs> I can teach up. him. I got to learn first, then I got to teach him. Yeah, so we, we knew with the camera, but I know a lot more about the camera. Okay, that's spam. Whoever... Eat me guilt free is. You're nasty. You know what I'm saying? Go to the next, <laughs> go to the next question. Um, this one is from Magali at Magali G's. She asked, Do y'all want kids? Ten of them. No. I'm playing. Uh. <laughs> of course, we want kids in due time. How many we want? That's not the question. Moving right along. Tell the streets how many we want. How many you want? Hey, two. Seven. 
No, I'm joking. No, two okay. or three. Yeah, I'm thinking like maybe two. All right, so we got another question from. Saying the the dopest what sister in law, dopest yeah. sister in law I could have. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Adam too. What's up, my boy? But um, <laughs> so the question says, what are three things you guys have in common and two things you do not? Ooh. You go first. <sighs> All right. This is where the real stuff comes into play because we're not about to give those fake answers. Like, oh my gosh, we love to travel. We do love to travel, though. Um, like, we left long walks in the park. No. Okay, so what do we have in common? We oh, I already said one. We like to travel. We can we can say it, like, together. Okay, so we that's to one. Do. We like to travel. We definitely both like to travel. Surprisingly, y'all probably don't believe this, but we really don't have as much in common as people think we do. Like, I feel like we have things in common, but we have a lot of differences also, which kind of balances, you know, balances ourselves out, I guess, which she rolling her eyes, so that must not mean that. I don't know, roll my eyes. Okay, so we have traveling in common. We both like food. He likes cooking. I like eating. Mm -hmm. That's something in common. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and three... Um, I feel like we both are there for people, like, you know, um, like... Try, we, we both have we, like really big hearts like yeah. we put everything out on the table yeah even to our demise sometimes I, we talk about that all the time like we try to help people that maybe don't deserve our help so you know yeah i think that's that's the thing three things that we don't two things that we don't have in common we definitely don't share the same taste in food because she will eat sushi every day we both like to eat but we both don't like the same food like, she will eat sushi every day. She will eat ramen every day. And I'll be like, oh, my God, I don't want no more sushi. I don't want no more ramen. So, that's... that's okay, one. so... And then another thing is that we don't have in common is probably, like... Mm, I would say budgeting. You're way better budgeting than me. See, I don't know about that. Like, We're I learning. Like, We're no, learning. I feel like I make money in bunches, but I spend money in bunches. You, on the other hand, make money over time and hold money. As yeah. opposed to me, I just get reckless sometimes. So I feel like that's one thing. Another thing. Mm. But that kind of balances out too, though. Yeah. I mean, we could say a lot of things. I don't know. Like... He, like, for example, we want the same things, but we have different tastes. Like, we have a lot in common, but the stuff that we have in common is different, like, from different perspectives. Like, he wants, like, a modern house, and I want a cottage. But the common thing is, is, like, we, uh -huh. we both want a house, you know, with the front yard, backyard, all that kind of stuff. So, that's a kind of broad question for us. Yeah. I, and I feel like, too, the, the, but I feel like the number one thing, the main difference is, though, I'm definitely more of a gambler than you are. Like, I'll jump off the cliff and take the risk and dive head first. Yeah, he likes to take risks. I like security and stability. Which is also, I feel, is not, like, a difference because sometimes, not sometimes, like, majority of our relationship, I do feel, like, security. Except when we hit, like, hard times. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Somebody help, help, help. <laughs> nah, man, we All right, moving right along, Rachel. Thanks for the deep question. Somebody said, you are the best. I don't know who that is. Sabri Best. I hope that's a girl, because if it's not, I got these. You feel me? <laughs> This so, next question is from A one Alex A one Lex underscore. Yeah, A one Lex underscore. Um, the question is, how did you guys meet? And um, I can tell them the gist. We want to save this for a different video because it's kind of it's, it's, it's a long story. Should we should we say how we met here? We met at work. But that's another story for another time in another video. So, once again, Stay tuned. you know what I'm saying? We need you to do what? What we need them to do? We just put like, comment, down. subscribe, click that little bell so you can get the notification. <laughs>
for when we do post that video because it's a good one. And actually, we have different views on that. We have different views on, um, actually, no, it's the same. It's, she we just met don't at, remember. We met at she, work. She don't remember what really happened. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> we a, met at work, but how we started to date is a whole different topic. So, all that is going to be another video. Stay tuned. Thanks for asking that question. Next is from, you want to? Yeah, it's from uh, Zay Travels. Zay underscore Travels. What's up, Xavier? I met you one time. Where were we at when I met Xavier? You came on a trip with me. What was where, though? To Charleston. Okay, yeah, we went to Charleston. You a cool dude, man. And he also does, like, a lot of traveling stuff, so check him out. And at he has, like, an on online store. The question is, how y'all know that each other was the one? Was the one. <laughs> I feel like I've answered this on my Instagram story, and if you follow me, um, I got a lot of feedback on that. Um, it was like a kind of a long post, so do you want to answer? Do you want? Do we want to answer this? Hey, we can answer it. No, no, we'll answer part of it, but I feel like this is something that could definitely be its own video. It definitely could be its own video, but I'll say all this to say um, I. One other thing we kind of have in common, but we don't have in common, is our beliefs are a little different. You know, like, I'm more traditional, he's more non-traditional. And I guess, like, with that being said, I always knew Anthony would play, like, an important role in my life. But it wasn't for me to know that he was the one. Because in the Bible, it says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And I feel like... He knew I was the one, so. Bro. <laughs> nah. Wow, uh, <laughs> way to ruin the moment. <laughs> nah, uh, I think, I'm not going to get too deep in this. Like, like I said, I think that, that, that that's his own video. Let's just put it like this, man. Uh, any man out there who's watching this, you just know, dog. Like, it's not something that I can really explain to somebody. Like, you just know. Like, you know when you done playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, and... Yeah, that's pretty much the basis of how I knew that the way I felt was genuine because I was ready to stop playing. So that's pretty much it for me. And she making faces. <sighs> Don't be surprised, baby. It's just me. Because <laughs> I got you sprung up in the springtime. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> you okay, seriously. Okay, so. It's, what is my favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? Maybe you should, I should answer that for you. You should answer it for me. Okay, let's do that. Uh, do, 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 225 Street Food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How could you own a business and not say that it's your favorite? So... You know, 225 all Street Food is his food truck, y'all. Follow it at 225 Street Food. Right. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Because I don't like y'all. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> is that really your favorite restaurant? Yeah, Okay, it's no, it's for real. Outside of 225 Street Food. Um. We eat so many places, y'all. It's kind of hard. All right, so all my chef homeboys going to be mad at me, but it's cool. I really like Razoo's. Like, I just think for Oh, my God, a quick, Dad. A quick, I took you there for your birthday. A quick bite, <laughs> like something quick. Not that expensive. Like, anybody who knows me love, I, knows I love Cajun Creole food. And, I mean, it just hit the spot. You know? What can I say? Razzles. Right. Okay, what about me? Oh, for you. Um, So, obviously, I told y'all earlier, she only likes sushi and ramen. So, I think that it has to be in between Rusan's and Fuda Buddha. Fuda Buddha is a ramen place and Rusan's is a sushi place. I probably would say Rusan's because she can get both in the same place. Yeah, I have a lot of favorite places. So anything he would have said would have been right. So yeah, I love Rusan's. Shout out to Rusan's. What is my favorite kind of sandwich? So you answer that. Ooh, me. favorite kind of sandwich. So she doesn't like sandwiches like that because <laughs> they're cold. And she, yeah, I don't know. she's like, my teeth get sensitive when it's cold. I don't want a sandwich because I love. But it's not that. It's not just that. Like I just really appreciate warm food. Because I love Jersey Mike's. 
Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Me, I'm a country boy too. I got lunch, meat, and bread. And then as soon as this video go off, I'm gonna make me a mean sandwich. But um, I'll probably say the Italian, like Italian stuff with salami and all that stuff, and all the stuff I don't like, she likes. So yeah, that's good. And that's your favorite kind of sandwich is. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you need to think what's considered a sub and what's not. Because it's really easy, but at the same time. A Philly cheesesteak. Okay. Yeah. Duh. That thing, extra meat, extra provolone, pause. lettuce, tomato. Yeah, pause. <laughs> lettuce, tomato, <laughs> banana peppers. Yeah. What is my favorite cereal? You don't like cereal. Right. So that's easy for me. What's my favorite cereal? I love cereal, y'all. He thinks it's childish that I like cereal. Like, who doesn't like cereal? Me. Oh, yeah. Forgot that quick. <laughs> I want a protein, because you ain't tricking me in the same meat again. I want a protein, a starch, and a vegetable. Every meal. Like, so therefore, if I don't have that, then it's like, you talking about cold sandwiches, what about cold milk and cereal? And I don't like milk. Once again, you know... Well, growing up, you know, sometimes we would warm our cereal up. You ever heard of that? Oh, that's ghetto. I ain't never heard of yeah, that. Yeah, like, maybe it's Car just Caribbean. Like, we used to warm our cereal up and, like, have cereal and warm milk. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you, though. I will eat Apple Jacks from time to time. Okay, he just doesn't like cereal. What's my favorite cereal? This is two boxes of cereal over there. Hold on. Um, it's, okay, it's not either one of those, so. What? Oh, uh, Captain Crunch. Hey, right. I didn't think you was gonna get hey, that right. I, I My favorite saying. music. Your favorite music? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. Let me tell y'all something about Kristen's music selection. Kristen likes all. Which is gonna be another video. Y'all gonna help us pick out our music for our wedding. So anyway, <laughs> uh, Kristen's music selection. Kristen listens to all that scorn women music. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going down. Right, and Triggered, and Janae Aiko, and Summer Walker. She just, you know, I don't know why she wants to listen to this sad, scorn stuff all day. But that's definitely what she listens to. I think her favorite artist would probably be Janae. Um, mm, she like Mariah Carey and J-Lo a lot, too. Why? I don't know. But um, Summer Walker... Mm, pretty much it. She likes SZA when she came when had that last album. Right. She needs to come out with something else. Yeah. All that scoring music, basically. So, was it right? Yeah. Okay. I don't call it scoring music, though, anyways. So, um, your kind of music... Actually, your kind of music is scoring music, too. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's like no. trap scoring music. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, Rod Wave. Rod Wave is you not You be talking scorn. about the struggle. Let me tell y'all something. My boy, my, oh, I'm shaking the camera. My boy Rod Wave. Shout out that boy Rod Wave. I like. Eating. You like Wife and Lucci, Rod Wave, um, Kevin Gates. Um, and you forgetting the GOAT. I just don't listen to him like that right now because he ain't put out an album in a while. J. Cole? Right, the GOAT. I just like realistic music, man. I think that I t like with Rod Wave and Gates and people like that and Young Boy. <sighs> like they just tap into a part of me where it's like I understand their pain, and I understand what they going through and how they feel. So I just like that feeling. I like music with feelings. Like I'm not really a big like. Rather you know like, listen to something that's gonna make me feel something. So and she the no, opposite. you like little baby. Like, you like little like baby too. Music. She like that Diddy Bar music. She be in the car like <laughs> looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to the questions. I just thought of one more thing. Me and Anthony have in common. We are both loyal. Um, almost loyal to a fault. Um, that's part of knowing. You know, when you meet the one, like it was never a question whether or not I was gonna be loyal to. Kristen. Oh, we forgot to show y'all something too. Hold on. Let me get let me get my son. Hold on. Come here, boy. We got to introduce y'all to our most important family member, Louie. 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 Hey, let me tell y'all something, man. This is Louie, aka Luwak, aka Looster, aka Pumpkin. What else you call him? Y'all. Okay, okay, let me tell y'all this. 
funny story, right? So when me and Anthony first started dating, we would talk on the phone, you know. Hey. I was like, what's up? What are you doing? Oh, whatever, right? And then one day, I think I was talking to my dog. And um, Anthony was like, yeah, I have a dog, too. His name is Louie. I was like, really? That's my dog's name, too. And y'all, I was expecting Louie to be like this big dog. You know, it was a chihuahua. My mama gave me that dog. I was like, my dog is bigger what, what than yours. What did you say? My biscuit. My mama gave me that dog. It was a chihuahua. But that was a funny thing. Like, we both had a dog named Louie. Like, what are the odds? Yeah, so, so, so to answer Xavier's question, that's how I knew she was the one, bro. Once I seen her dog name was Louie, you know. But see, my dog was like an OG, man. Rest in peace, Louie. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's a long story. You know, R.I.P. Somebody uh, smoked my boy. But we ain't even going to talk about that right now. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny, but I don't, don't say that. That's crazy, y'all. She laughing at the death of my only dog. That's anyways, y'all. Anyways. Anyways. Um... That's the end of our video, our first video. Are you proud of us? Are you proud of us? So, you know, you know what we're gonna say again. We gotta say it again. What do they need to do? Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, start a parade, um throw a bar miss for put it on the billboard, put the posters in the strip club, turn on the notifications, add it to your mixtape. Um Text your mama. Put it on the radio. Text your grandma. Put it on your podcast. Send it to all your brothers and sisters. <laughs> Put it on your shirt. Play it in the background doing your point. <laughs> Put it in your Instagram story. All of that. So, so we can continue, continue, continue to drop these bomb, 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 bomb ass videos for y'all every single week. We look forward to the success of our channel i'm so excited about this she's been talking about it for a long time it's been in the works for a long time and i'm proud of myself because i've really been catching on pretty quick i don't think so but it needs to be the end of the video now we gotta save something for the next one okay out we out we out Peace. <laughs>